Hey guys, it's Ryan, Paul, Resell CMY. We're here with our weekend sales video. This is going to include Monday, uh, June 20th as well. It's a holiday here recognized in New York. Yep. And I think uh, federally too with the USPS. Um, pa Paul's looking down because he's posting a TikTok he just did of this real quick. You can uh, find his videos that he posts on TikTok. It's the same thing, Resell CNY. Um, pretty good sales video we're going to have here for you. Uh, not huge, huge numbers. We sold, what, 1027 Hold on. $1,027, I think, in these sales here. This is Monday night. This is Heather's and video. First thing that pops up is Heather's wedding video. Oh, yeah. Congratulations, Heather. Congrats. Heather. And your wedding video is the first thing after I posted a TikTok post pops up on my phone. It looks like you guys had some fun, and uh, congratulations. Yeah. I hope it all went well. Um, but yeah, thousand twenty-seven dollars. Today's cents. and fifty cents. Today's Monday night. We're gonna ship not, uh, tonight because Paul has an appointment tomorrow yeah, I gotta, morning. I gotta go see my oncologist tomorrow just for another round of chemo, routine yeah. stuff, no scans, no nothing. Just check my side effects and dose me up again for the following two weeks. Yeah. So he he we, he wouldn't be able to help me out with all this shipping. So he uh, came over. Thankfully, came over to help me today. So if there's any sales uh, after tonight, which there should be, because we did a bunch of listing Video games, um, yeah, uh, I'll ship those out myself this morning in the morning. So hopefully we get a few more yeah, to come in. But uh, yeah, we'll just start it out here. I think there's 41 total orders here. So, yeah, 41, 40 from our site, one from yeah. Years. So I'll just uh, oh, these are the wrong pins. These are the pins I wanted to start with. All right, we got these large pins here uh you can see them in better in the screenshot but they're for the mba they're vintage too i think they're like 80s maybe early 80s maybe late 70s something like that big pins i think there's like seven of them total there's like six mba and one collegiate one um those sold for 11 dollars plus shipping try to keep this chair quiet all right this uh first sale for us here is uh this stife club sam's club teddy bear it's in its original shipping box. This is how we're gonna ship it. This is sold June 17th, so this was Friday evening. At some yeah. point, this sold $37 on offer plus shipping. This came from Dan's. Where is that? Where's that? Little. This thing? Yeah. This chair is annoying. I gotta get a new chair. Sorry about all the noise this thing makes. Either half of it's from my chair and half of it's from my joints, I think. <laughs> But uh, this also came from Dan's. Um, it's in the box here. You can see it up here in the screenshot. It's Henri Club, Sarah Kay. It's like a carved wooden figure. And this sold for $10 plus shipping. And this next thing here, this came from Dan's too. These are new old stock. These are vintage Hallmark stickers. These are St. Patrick's Day leprechauns and whatnot. You see in the screenshot, these sold on offer $7.50 plus shipping. All right, this also came from Dan's. There's three of them here. They're, uh, I think, 19, yep, 1988 McDonald's toys. They're uh, an organ, plays music and stuff. These three did not work. Probably just need another battery or something like that. The ones that worked, we sold for 30. 30. And we had these ones at 25. Someone offered if they bought all three, would we do $15 a piece? And uh, I set it up, uh, $45 plus shipping on these, 15 a piece. And I'll do this magazine for me that yep. thing. Next thing here we got from Marty's. This is actually a Rolling Stone magazine from 2010. This is a Lady Gaga issue, 1108-1109 newsstand issue. This came from Marty's. This sold $13.99. Oh, $13 dollars free shipping, $12.99. Probably shipped that in one of those uh, record things. Record boxes that we picked up uh, to ship records in. And that wasn't something we really picked either. That was there was, there was a bunch of, of box. yeah, in the bottom of a tote there was a bunch of magazines. That one had a little value. We got a Marie Osmond going out the door here. This one is called Strawberry Cheesecake. That's why I like that. Um, yeah, twelve dollars plus shipping on this. Sorry, I was taken off guard. <laughs> I had the name. Can you give me that ornament. The Which one? The Christmas Carol lighted. Not this one. Yep, that's one. This one? Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, this next sale we have here is another ornament. Hopefully we sell a bunch more of these because we got a bunch of them listed. I don't know if this one has a double or not, but this is the 1987 Hallmark Keepsakes. This is the lighted ornament. It's a Christmas Carol, and this one sold $8 plus shipping. All right, we got some uh, pewter ornaments here. These are from 1995. There's This is the second one of these to sell. $18 plus shipping on this. There's nine of them in there, and it's... Uh, doesn't it open? Yeah. Yeah. I can show you them a little bit there. You can see them a little bit better. Again, sorry for my chair creaking constantly. These were 35 bucks initially, 18 plus shipping. I think we have three or four more of these. All right, guys, this is a cool sale. This came from Dan's. This is a lot of Star Wars cards. There's 60 of them. They're mostly a blue border, some red border cards I see in the back here, just a few of them. These sold $45 plus shipping. Uh, Another item here from Dan's. This is like a buck knife set. There's a couple of small pocket knives in there. This sold for $20 plus shipping. Pretty sure this is the Cheshire cat. Yeah. It should say on the side, but this yeah. This one doesn't have the pin in it. It's inside the oh, thing, okay, cool. so it wouldn't rattle around. All right, cool. I'll, I'll just do the, sure. I'll do the next thing while right. Paul's grabbing that. We actually had another St. Patrick's Day item going out, one of these uh, dolls. Is this Marie Osmond? No, that's a uh, collector's choice or something. Yeah, it's a different one here. Collector's choice, St. Patrick's Day, just a porcelain doll. Came from Kathy's, and that initial $1,000 purchase. And thank you very much whoever's buying these. She's bought all these loose dolls, the one that had the broken finger too, and then she bought again. Oh, okay. This is her buying again. She's the same Jubair buyer. 61? Yeah, yeah, she's been buying again. I don't know if she watches these, but thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you very much. $6.50 she paid for this one. And the next thing here is this Walt Disney Classic Collection. You guys have seen it before. This is the Cheshire Cat from 1994. New. This is the box that actually shipped in from them to Dan's house. From Dan's house to Ryan's house. From Ryan's house to whoever's house this is going to. $38 plus shipping. Yeah, we'll probably have to look into it. It's actually going overseas, too. Yep. So uh, it's going on a little journey. All right. Uh, what was it? Saturday morning? Friday morning. Is that when you left? To yeah, go Friday for... morning, yep. Friday morning, I went to garage sales by myself. Didn't pick up too much stuff. One of the things I picked up was four GameCube games for $10 total, so $2.50 a piece. One of them here was uh, Mortal Kombat. $18 free shipping on this. This next little sale here is this Hallmark Keepsake Ornament. This is Looney Tunes. Speedy Gonzalez, as you can see here. This thing sold $4.99 plus shipping, and I know we have a few of these. All right, we have a uh, Star Wars here, Talking Yoda. Um, the feet, the function on it doesn't work, the try me function. And that was uh, uh, noted in the description. Um, this sold for $16 plus shipping. This also came from Dan's. I'll let you do the NES. I'm going to do this X-Men. Mm. This is another... Uh, uh, GameCube game here that sold. This one's X-Men Legends from 2004. This sold for $15. Free shipping. And this is from one of those ones Ryan bought for $2.50. And I actually listed another one of those today. Nice. That we got from the other buy. Alright, this came from Marty's. Um, this sold. This is an original Nintendo. It's tested. It works well. Um, it comes with a couple uh, controllers there and the cables. I'm going to sneeze here in a second. But uh, seventy five dollars. Do you know how to stop that instantly? <laughs> push on your top lip. Really? Yeah, you I, can stop. I thought it. someone else was supposed to say watermelon or something. No, if you push on your top lip, I can tell everybody this. It's medically proven. If you have a sneeze coming, you push on top lip. It's seriously against your teeth. It'll stop it. I've had multiple surgeries where you don't want to sneeze because you oh. blow stuff out, and the doctors tell you that if you got to sneeze, just push there because you don't want to blow out your stitch staples or anything. Oh, okay. And that's one of the worst. So I wasn't just pulling anybody's chain, See, it's really you, true. you tune in for what we sell and you, you get medical <laughs> advice. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but uh, yeah, $75 plus shipping on this. We got two of these from Marty's? Yep, two. One had like stickers and uh, the controllers were a little yellowed on it. And I think we have it listed for like five, ten dollars $10 cheaper. But this one's the one that sold. And this next sale here is a pretty cool sale. It's another one of those die cast cars out of that bin. and. Uh, this guy wrote a message, I think it was listed at 35 bucks for this, and he wrote a message offering 25 bucks. I sent him a offer instantly on it yeah. for $25. 
And then uh, and messaged him and said, hey, it's offer sent. He bought it right away. Uh, $25 plus shipping. This is the VHTF Johnny Lightning 1965 Chevy Chevelle SS 396. That sold $25 plus shipping. You want to get the Jiminy? Yeah. And I'll do this. Uh, where did this, this came from Dan's? Yep, yep, okay. 100%. We got another uh, item that came from Dan's here. It's a Batman item. It's the Two-Face coin. Uh, it's actually a little FM radio. Brand new in the package. Didn't have a bunch of value, but you know, you gotta, you gotta list stuff like this. $7 plus shipping. Next sale here is another WDCC. I got these stacked over by me, so if you see me getting up and stuff, it's because I'm grabbing these boxes. Oh, the bigger, bigger items. items here. There's going to be a few more. This too. is a 1993 Jiminy Cricket and Pinocchio Walt Disney Classic Collection. This is Cricket's the name, is the name of the uh, figure. $38 plus shipping. Yeah, I think we have more of both the ones you just seen, so yeah. I'm going to grab the uh, tree. Yep, that's right here. All right, Paul's going to grab another thing here. This is our favorite sale of the week. Paul's boots. No, we've had those for a long time. We picked these up at a garage sale at some point last, last year. year. Uh, it, we had to move it over from the other site. It's had watchers like the whole time. Mm -hmm. And just hasn't Sound ever sold. many offers on it. Yeah, and I mean, it was, they sold full price. They're uh, Dan Post boots. I can't remember what size nine they are. wide, I think. 9W? Yeah, 8 or 9 or something like that. But they're in really good condition and stuff, and they, they finally end up selling $28 uh, plus shipping. And uh, the reason it's our favorite, just because it's been around so long. We've been staring at them for a long time in there, and it's nice to get rid of stuff you've been looking at a long time. Yeah, and like we try to price things to get them right out the door. So to have something sit around for seven, eight, nine, ten months, maybe even close Crazy. to a year by now. But I think we picked them up for five bucks, so we're still yeah. it's still a pretty good buy. All right, guys, this next sale here is a pretty cool sale. This came from Kathy's. Ryan picked it up. Highest value of the weekend, right? Is it? I don't know. Yeah, uh, I think so. Be. This is a vintage Atlantic Mold Company. It's a two-piece ceramic lighted Christmas tree. It's a 23-inch tall one. It was only missing the little plastic peg for the star on the top. Yeah. You'll see in the screenshots here. We picked this up. Ryan pulled it out the first time we went to Kathy's. Didn't have room enough with all the dolls. And we went there the second time, it was still in our pile. We bought it, and this sold $130 on offer, plus shipping. Yeah, look at the screenshot and pay attention to that, because if you see these, and they are in you know, pretty good shape, as long as they don't have like holes blasted in them or cracks or something, uh, that with a broken star on the top, which is like the pinnacle of the tree, still sold for $130. They make a, some smaller ones, too, that we yeah. tried to, that we uh, could have, could have bought last year as well at a different place, but they were like, they had, they had some issues. Uh, next thing here is another one of the $2.50 games I picked up. This was like a cheaper one. I basically just grabbed all the GameCube games, uh, except for the sports titles. This one was $10 in free ship plus uh, with free shipping. So we'll only make you know, after fees and cost of goods, a couple bucks off this one. And the next one here is this lady in the tramp. You've seen this many a times. DVD from Dan's. I still think we got a few more down there. Yeah, a bunch of this those. This sold nine dollars free shipping. And again, we're just clearing three, four, or five bucks on the DVDs like that. Another item from Dan's here. It's got the Geeky Tiki Star Trek. Um, this is what is this one? Gorn. This sold for ten dollars plus shipping. I think we only have one more of these Geeky similar Geekies. type mugs down there. Not this exact one, but similar. And this is. Another one from what Ryan picked up on um, GameCube game. This is Crazy Taxi. And uh, this one right here, this sold for $20, free shipping. And that's all four of them that That's I all four up of them now. he picked so up I... for 10 bucks, all four gone. Yeah, like so that. probably 10 bucks and 35 ish. Yeah. Something like that. And that wasn't like super great, but, but it was instant. Quick, yeah. All right. This is actually a pretty good sale, yeah. too, because it's been kicking around a while. You just have to trust me that it's in there. Um, it's not just shipping with only this, but that's what we put it in the drawer at, so it wouldn't get ruined. Check out the screenshot. Simply Vera Wang. It's like a, a purse. <laughs> $25 plus shipping. That came from Kathy's the second time we went down there. What did we spend the second time we went down to Kathy's? $6.40. Is that what we spent? Wasn't it? Yeah, I can't remember. It's been so many deals. Pretty sure, it's written uh, down too. Yeah, six hundred and forty bucks, and that's uh, still making money off that deal. <laughs> I mean, the tree was just one hundred and thirty of it. Yeah, right that there. was from that same that yeah. Name. yeah. 
Guys, this next sale here is a lot of Wii games. It looks like there's two, four, six, eight, ten. There's eleven th games, maybe. Yeah, I listed it as ten, 10. because there's a duplicate. No so manuals. So instead of saying duplicate, I just said ten games. No then... manuals. This sold twenty dollars plus shipping. And Where did these come from? These are Wii games you've had from before. Ground are sale. those ones from? I should say it. They don't. Six oh, three garage sale. Garage sale. Okay. It's a garage sale, thanks, guys. We're getting so much stuff. Yeah, good thing we're, we're labeling lost. this stuff because we have no idea where it came from. The reason that says no manuals is because I pull out all the manuals on really cheap games. And then I'll lot up all the manuals and get like a buck a piece, 75 cents a piece. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you take 30 manuals and you sell them for twenty four ninety nine or something. It's worth it. Uh, I'll let you do cool, the big yeah. thing. All right, we just listed this today. This is the first item to sell from our... $1,150 purchase, video game purchase. If you haven't seen the haul video, I have it kind of uploading right now. Hopefully I can have it finished sometime tomorrow. Uh, you, it'll be uploaded before this one. So uh, go check out that one. It's a pretty amazing buy that we had. All video game stuff. Paul's truck was filled up. This is the first item to sell there. Like I said, we paid $1,150 for everything. This sold, this is Super Smash Brothers Melee. And this sold for $63 uh, free shipping. And this is um, uh, Nintendo GameCube too. All right guys, this next sale we have here is, you're gonna have to trust me, I'm not pulling it out of this box. It's this box that was actually shipped into Dan's house. This is the Sharper Image Super Wave Oven, 12.5 quart, 1300 watt. This thing came right out of his house. In this box, I took it out, took pictures, put it right back in this box, and it's going to get shipped like this. $50 plus shipping. Yeah, brand new in this box. Brand new. There we got a Funko Pop. Paul just listed this this morning. Um, I think I li I wrote it down in the book as Dan's, because I think it was a du I thought it was a duplicate it be. to bring in. It says special edition. It's uh, number 10, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, $15 plus shipping on this sold within what, an hour? Yeah, within an hour. 15 bucks. I seen they were selling around 18 to 20 bucks, but I That's was like, you're going right to get, there. I don't know, there's a ton of competition for them. Yeah. So I just priced it like three bucks lower than everybody else and went immediately oh, out the door. Yeah. Funny little story with this. I just listed this today. Strom Becker. This is a little lot you'll see. Look at the screenshot here. I took pictures of it this morning. I was supposed to list this at auction. <laughs> but I am so used to listing everything by it now. It's almost second hand to switch it over to buy it now without thinking. And I, I wanted to start it at $19.99 at auction. I listed it. For sale, buy it now at $19.99. And it sold pretty within quick. an hour. It's pretty quick. Pretty yeah. quick. <laughs> so $20 plus shipping. I picked this up at the garage sale on 6-2. And I don't even know what I have into this little thing. It was a little... It was like Three, four three, bucks. Three, four bucks. But 20 bucks, it's still making money. Yeah. Uh, he came back over. I'm like, oh, that sold already? You listed that at 20? And he's like, yeah, I meant to put it in an auction. But <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, I wonder what it would have went for, though. Yeah, I don't even know. I mean, it's probably like the rarest one there ever was. I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> I don't want to think about that. <laughs> we got another ornament going out. It's uh, Uncle Sam Nutcracker, 1988. It's an old one. Hallmark, five dollar plus shipping. If someone came and offered us five dollars for every ornament that right we have gone. right now, they'd be, they'd be gone. All right, this next one's pretty cool sale here. We just sold a Mario Party Ten Wii U game for th twenty two bucks. Go we'll grab it. Mario Wii U. Yeah, Wii U game. Um, this is pretty cool. This has <laughs> been kicking around Ryan's basement for all of seven to eight months. It's the last thing from the Lego buy that we did last year with all the new Legos and stuff. We literally filtered through everything. We didn't go in this because the box has been open and we didn't know what we were dealing with. I went in it today because I'm just cleaning house trying to list odds and ends down there while we're doing video games. Found out this was worth like probably 130 bucks sealed. I listed it at $99.99. It's all complete. Hundred dollars plus shipping for this Lego seven five nine zero two. Keep your guys eyes open for that one if you see it sealed. And a uh, hundred dollars plus shipping. <laughs> we literally had that at the feet, the foot of the table down like there where we for months and months. Just kicking it around, <laughs> just a hundred dollar bills in there. Uh, second sale from the eleven fifty video game buy. We got Shrek extra large. 
This one did have the manual. It's complete. Another GameCube game sold for ten dollars with free shipping. So I made like five bucks off this one. This next one that sold here is pretty cool. Ryan picked this up at garage sale. This is a Nylant Press Steel. It's a it two-car double decker. Picked it up for a dollar. This actually does pop up. And it's a double decker, as you can see in the screenshots there. And I'm gonna fold it down for shipping purposes. Yeah. But uh, this sold nine dollars plus shipping. Mm. All right, next thing here, we got this AFX Dune Buggy 1960s, super clean, fast too. Oh, I bet it is. These are all tested. We keep a little piece of track around um, and test all these slot cars. This came from, what did we spend? 22, 22? 22 50, yep. 22.50 out in Albany, a bunch of slot cars. Just sold something else, Mario Party 7 too for the GameCube for 55. I'll go get that. Here, you want to fish that one? Yeah, this one <laughs> we got from that buy. I think this is Mario the Party last 7. one. Oh, we have a couple more. Yeah, Mario Party 7, GameCube. Yeah. 55 bucks. Um, This, I think we might have a couple still carded ones from there. Yeah, you do. And that's it from that twenty two fifty. I don't know what we're at total for. We're almost going to run a total on that because we have a couple left. Like 5000 I think. Off of 2250 So uh, we knew this we sold, were going to be right I there. just sent an offer when I got home. It was listed at 55 bucks. I sent it out for $45.50, $10 off, and the guy bought it immediately. $45.50 plus shipping. Uh, Want to give me the doll? Yep. So what, did someone message you an offer on this? No. It says, Thank oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. For yeah. accepting my offer. Yeah, someone said, oh, because it was a counter offer. I sent them an offer when I got home, and they counter oh, offered like $2 cheaper than what I did. I was like, sold. Yeah. Immediately. Adora Bell of the Ball. Another one of these uh, Marie Osmond dolls. We have perfect boxes that fit this size, so mm -hmm. it's pretty cool getting this size out that quickly. This came again from Kathy's at $1,010 we spent. $1,010. Um,. $20 plus shipping on that doll. Next thing here, these are from Dan's. Do we have multiple sets of these like this? There's two more sets just like this. Two more sets just like this. These are the Land Before Time Pizza Hut pins. And this one has the Pizza Hut pin in it and the three dinosaurs there, as you can see in the screenshot. These sold $17, free shipping. Um, so that's it for the sales, besides the two that you just saw like happen live. We listed a ton of uh, we listed all the GameCube games we got from the eleven fifty dollar buy. Yep. And the uh, all the Wii U games. And we started into the Wii games as well. But uh, this one just sold. It is Mario Party Ten for the uh, Nintendo Wii U. It sold for twenty two dollars, free shipping. And the crazy thing is, right behind that sale, this thing sold, and it's another Mario Party, and this is for the GameCube. This sold fifty five dollars, free shipping. But yeah, they're separate that. buyers. They're both Mario Parties. One's 10 for the Wii U and one's Mario Party 7 for the Game other Q. one. And they're separate buyers right away. So 55 free shipping. Yeah, so the, we're already starting to pull some money back. I got to get that video done so you guys can see. So that we're, that's a little about $1,075 now for the weekend, for the total. Oh, oh, added it up. Yeah, and okay, those yeah. I just said roundabout. Yeah, and right? by the morning, there's going to be more video games that sold. And there was some pretty... Some of, the GameCube, ones in there. some of the GameCube games were... I mean, I wish they were all GameCube games. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I want to buy all of them. We got Watch some 40, now. 50. We got Any some for 80. And we got one for 150. 150 and we got watchers on stuff. Yeah, so... But, yeah, that's it for the sales, you guys. Um, there's probably going to be a few more overnight, but I'm, you're not going to be able to see those. No. We got to get to shipping here, so I'll just keep it short and sweet. You got anything else you want to say? No, we're just going to get to shipping so I can get home, and uh, hopefully we can get this done, and Ryan can get that stuff done. He said he's going to pick up watches tomorrow. Yep. We got tons Disney of watches. watches. Are you going to bring her more when you pick them up? Are you going to go through I there? Think, I think I might bring her some. Not yep. too many. Bring her some of those Seikos. Yeah. The nice ones. That yes, might not the, be how many watches do you think we have to do? Three, four hundred. I'm not kidding. We got like three, four hundred watches. And that might be that out. might be minimum because there's just so many. We just started bringing small lots out to uh, the jeweler and batteries, from batteries and, and getting clean. Them clean and stuff. So She's yeah. got some ready for Ryan to pick up tomorrow that she cleaned. Ryan, so we're going to drop off some more. Maybe 10 that she needs to clean and 10 that she can change batteries yeah. out or don't need to be cleaned at all. I don't know, but we're working a deal with her for batteries and stuff. And uh, 
Hopefully we get these watches sold. We haven't sold any yet. We listed a yeah, few watches of them. though, and they're like 80, 90 bucks a <laughs> yeah. pop. So I mean, we're gonna the watches but are gonna. That's be about awesome. it, guys. We're gonna try to list a lot this week because we're gonna try to make money. Obviously, that's the name of this game. And we're gonna go ship for the next two hours. I hope yeah. you guys enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll have Paul's daughter Kennedy finish it up for us. See you guys. Bye. Say we sell CNY. We sell CNY. Said please like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. And bye. Bye. Bye, guys. Right. Thank you. Bye.